Good morning, everyone. Exelberth here. Welcome back to Runestorm Citadel. And look at that. New villagers. They're actually breeding now. Oh, hello, little guy. <laughs> oh, that's so awesome. That's two, two you little guys. And look at that. We actually have some apiary villagers. Apiarist. Whatever the heck you want to call them. Ooh, I can get a monastic. It's a lot of emeralds. It's a lot of emeralds. But that might be worth it. I don't know what a monas monastic bee does. Let's see. Monastic bees. Wait for it to load. Let's see. I can get pupil bees. Secluded. Hermitic. They produced wheat and comb and mellow comb. What does wheat and comb give you? I might have looked this stuff up before, but I don't know what any of it does. Ah, it gives you wheat. Wonderful. Yes, you have a very strange bee to give me. I think I might just give you wheat just to see if you get a new thing. Oh, hello. Right, you sell niter. Don't really want the frozen comb, I just want to see what other options he's going to end up giving me. Eight times two, what is that? That's twenty no sixty. Yeah, that that seems about right. So what else do you want now? Ooh, you can sell me proven frames. I might visit you quite a few times. Ow. Don't shut the door on my face. It's mean. So villagers are breeding, that's cool. That means that the doors are working around my entire citadel. I still have windows to put up. <clears throat> Let's see, has anything crossbred yet? I did get mundane and large, but it wasn't from over here. It was actually from over there, where butterflies kind of pollinated the various trees. Because you can kind of see it from here, but let's get closer. See there? Breeding these trees on their own, which is kind of cool, I suppose. <laughs> it's different, having the butterflies do the breeding. I thought it was the bees that did it, though. Am, am I wrong? Because I haven't seen anything change on these trees at all. Oh, ooh, there's one, there's one. Haha, -ha, change is occurring. It's oh, it's a mundane larch. Well, we'll let those keep on going then, because it seems like they're working. Toss it in the generator. Can I do it with wheat? Nope, can't. Of course. I'm going to put the wheat that I didn't sell in here. And now that I got these frozen combs, I might as well make use of them. <clears throat> yeah, my throat feels just raw today. Don't know why. It's not pleasant. How is my cultivated bee breeding bee? 
Um, not what I was expecting to get. Um, awkward. Uh, okay, so I managed to get Eldritch Queen, or B, not Queen. Um, that was a mistake. <laughs> oh boy. Let's hope this didn't screw everything up for me. It does have cultivated in it. So I'm going to breed you together and just. I'm just going to hope that. Oh, it's actually turning night. I'm going to hope that it ends up getting me a pure breed pure breed cultivated princess and maybe a bee that has eldritch in its drone line Oops, stop jumping they have a shorter life so it shouldn't take too long How's my Valiant breeding going? Ooh, we got a pretty nice amount of Valiant drones. Always like that. So, what are we going to do today while I'm waiting for breeding to happen? Honestly, I don't know. I just felt like recording. I really should get back into streaming. It's been a long time, but... I don't know. It's, it's also been a pretty irritating past few weeks. Life in general is okay, it's just family. And that's all you need to know. Family's irritating. I never finished that tower, did I? <laughs> Oops. Well, I do have some stone brick in here, so let's grab that. And this is supposed to go up higher and get a cap. There we go. I believe I have an idea of what I want to do for this section of wall here. I'm thinking of making it kind of a high wall with a drawbridge type structure. And perhaps that would look decent. Not entirely sure yet, but thinking that's how it's going to work. And actually, I did finish this tower. I don't know why I, I didn't. Needs a cap here. So, this area still needs to be terraformed a little bit. This hill it, it just has to go. Although I'm not really sure that it's worth me doing all this still. Because I was reading more about the upcoming Feed the Beast Unleashed variant. And seems like things are going to change a little bit. Like I don't think the mod pack is going to be Feed the Beast Unleashed. It's going to change into something different for the title. And it's also going to be different enough that the map I'm on right now isn't going to work out. Like, I won't be able to import the map. Which sucks, because I really like all the work I've done so far. 
I mean, there's a few things I'm definitely interested in changing. All these forest trees, they're nice, but I don't really want them down around the base of the tree. In fact, I, it was part of an idea of mine that I was going to have a hemisphere shape up above the tower and have silver wood and and a yeah, brain not working silver wood and forest trees around that. So, yeah. Plenty of things that I would really not like to lose, but I have an idea. I'm going to... Once once the new mod pack is actually out, I'm going to see if I'm able going to be able to just copy everything around the walls and place that in a new world, perhaps. Because I'd love to continue on the RuneStorm Citadel design. And I love all the Ars Magica, not Ars Magica, <laughs> Thomcraft 2 stuff, and I think I would be able to fit that into the tower pretty well. And perhaps I can make a better, a better power system that doesn't require the crops. And it's just a bunch of tiny things that may or may not actually happen. Yeah. Need to get more of this built. <clears> Hello, <throat> oh, chicken. You're not really supposed to be up here. I guess one of the eggs I threw around managed to get up here and actually made a baby chicken. Be gone, chicken. Bye. Hey, he managed to get down to the ground. Cool. <laughs> All right. I think I'm going to cut away and work more on building up the tower. Because I'd really love to get it more complete than just a skeleton frame. So I will see you in a moment. And with luck, we'll have some actual cultivated bees that can start the imperial branch for us. So see you in a few... I'm liking that. This looks going pretty good. I missed a couple there. Darn it. Oh, I'll get more quarried stone later. So... We have success. Cultivated. Cultivated drones. Shortest life. So, let's get these into the automation part of the system. Oops, I forgot some pipe bits. <laughs> and there went a bit of honeycomb. Oh, and... Yeah, I also got some noble strain going on here. Which is great, but we don't need to worry too much about it right now. Because we need to get some common... Common princess genes. And I decided to try breeding these rocky bees with the common to see if I can 
kind of slowly convert them into a common princess. It's actually a little bit interesting because they require rocks in order to do anything and I just happen to have rock exposed right there, which is great. Saves me time. Oh, I'm actually placing down another rock. Oops. So I need my apiarist pipes. Oh, am I out of those? Huh, I'm out of apiarist pipe. Not a problem. Let's see, did I have any more propolis in these things? No, but I do have mulch. And this isn't the right thing I'm supposed to be looking at. This one is. No propolis. Okay. Oh, I have extra propolis here. Derp. Hmm. We'll just make one for now. I have a lot of bees. Yes, one's good enough. That's all we need. you there. Diamond pipe here. I have the wooden pipes right here. Oops. And cobblestone pipe there. Anything? Any bees? Cultivated. Pure bre purebred cultivated bees. That's what we want. Always on. Hmm. I could try automating this. I just don't really want it to actually be automated because I don't know how well that's going to work out. I think this is going to be one that I'm just going to have to check every now and then to see if the bee has turned into a common and if it has, see how different the traits are. I'm expecting the traits are going to end up being pretty different overall. We're getting so close on having excess valiant bees. How's this tank doing anyway? 60,000. Pretty good. And for some reason, my bees disappeared out of this bee house. So that's kind of... Now that's actually very irritating. Bull pine. I think this tower is starting to look very good, at least from the outside. Inside, still working on the floors, but it's coming along. We have had success with our bees. We finally have some pure, bre pure breed cultivated bees. Although, some of the drones have disappeared. Aha. Uh -huh. 
We went down this pipe. I thought I had that automation worked out right. So what was it for here? Anything. 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 And it's supposed to be any bees and cultivated bees. What's going on here? You're cultivated bees. Why didn't you go into the bee house? Hmm. Is there a forestry achievement guide thing? That's a plenty biome finder, twilight forest, mistcraft, minecraft. No, there isn't. That'd be really great if there was a forestry achievement guide. So anyway, now that we have cultivated bees, I'm trying to work on getting these rocky bees turn into common bees. I'm doing that by breeding them with common drones. So eventually I will breed out the rocky bee type and turn it all into a common bee. That way I'll be able to breed though. That way I'll be able to have the uh, common princess that can get turned into uh, what was it? You need to have cultivated with common. I don't know why it always shows infusion altar. You don't get noble bees through the infusion altar. But anyway, you need common and cultivated, and since I don't have any more cultivated or common princesses, I need to make one. And I figure the best way to do that might actually just be to breed bees with common drones kind of force a change to happen. My tree breeding over here is working out pretty interestingly. So for some reason I lost my water princess. It disappeared on me. Don't know where it went. But I managed to get some yew saplings. And is there any more floating around over here? Nope. They're all gone. They might have, if any dropped they might have just spawned. But that's right because I got some with the grafter. And I just got this bull pine sapling. And the bull pine is a one by one. Good. Why can I why can I fertilize the leaves? That's kinda weird. There. I wanna get at least two saplings out of that. And the wood looks alright. Turns into an okay color. Now this is the yew wood. It's got a nice looking outside and it's kind of fleshy color on the inside. Pretty interesting tree. And now that I've actually got those out of the way I can tear them down and start going for the next tree. I'm going to need to make more thomium soon. I'm actually going to get a lot more bull pine saplings than I thought. I oftentimes forget that forestry trees tend to drop a pretty good amount of saplings. So let's see, let's check that chart again. Uh, next I need to breed bull pine and mundane larch and then I can get a sequoia tree. And that's the end of this particular line of tree breeding. <clears throat> so we're gonna knock down these trees.
I'm gonna put the bull pine in their spot. And let's see. It's more common you. And I'll try breeding common you with every tree that I have. Right, I think that's all I'm gonna get is common you or bull pine, so it's enough of that. So I do need to get rid of the rest of the spots out of here. So we don't need any more red spruce or whatever it was. That looks like I got one more of these claws left. I'll help clear out the rest of these leaves. Don't go too close to the the mundane large, because we need those. Is there any more? Right, I think that's all of the red spruce tree leaves. Oops. Another bull pine. Okay. These are going to grow and not covering that one. Alright, so those will be the next set of trees that need to interbreed. And then we can tear down all these and start working on the jungle line. These walnuts really do not do very good at filling you up. Do do do. Let's see, I think I got some chicken in here. Yes, I do. Take a break from all the walnut eating. Let's knock down one of these saplings, and that should be a pure jungle one. Nope, that's a jungle silver birch. Okay, maybe this one then. Branch discovered Betula. I don't understand what's going on. And there goes my my grafter. Hmm. Well, let's take a look in the chest. I might have a purebred jungle tree in here. Silver lime. Not seeing any pure breeds. Let's burn up the rest of these saplings because we don't need those.
And I have plenty of common you, so don't need that either. Get that chicken egg out of here. Let me in. I thought I was able to get... Huh, I'm not getting any saplings from this. Very weird. There's some saplings. Okay, that one's pure jungle. Good. Maybe now I'll be able to gather some purebred jungle saplings. Yeah, this one even comes with a little little fruit on it. A little cocoa bean. Is that one inside of it? It is. And these have different leaves than normal jungle trees. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, so let's see. Stats. Matures fast, has a larger height. Girth is one by one. <laughs> see, I'm actually kind of curious about crossbreeding trees. Like, can you get stats from other trees onto normal trees? Like, I know some trees actually require, like, a 3x3. Three three. Or something like that. I don't remember. But I wonder if you can get an apple tree to have the 2x2 two two stat of one of these chestnut trees. That'd be a pretty interesting tree, I think. You look stuck, zombie. There you go. Welcome out. And go away. Still following me, huh? Said, go away. So yeah, I'm not really doing much anymore right now. So this actually is probably going to be a somewhat boring episode compared to others, but I, I did cover some stuff that I needed to get done, and I talked about the future of, the, of this world. It's still shooting the bees down here, isn't it? It's annoying. Why is it doing that? You're not supposed to be sending the bees down the line. You're supposed to be putting them inside the thing. I, the weird part is it is doing it with the princess because the princess is constantly getting put into here, and a single drone is a drone is a blue dead. Okay. <sighs> so the princess is getting shoved in here, but the drones were not. Why were the drones not getting put in here? The only thing I can reason out is that perhaps it is perhaps it's not like all the same stats for the bees you know what I mean because we were crossbreeding these with multiple species we had common and unusual and I think maybe a couple other ones that popped up in there as well so perhaps it's got a mixture of stats that's trying to filter out that's probably why so it's trying to send the pure breed cultivateds in here, but because they have different stats like, like a uh, brain, think, do things, brain. Why you no do things? 
Hey, common princess. Okay, stats like speed or pollination or flowers. Perhaps those are causing issues? Alright, so we're getting close. We, Well, we do have a pure breed common now, but it's got multiple different stats that we have to work out. Like what I'm talking about with the cultivated ones, because, see, all of these, these are like normal, normal, shorter life, fast worker stuff. This one, look at it, it's normal both one. So, it needs to get sorted out and become, you know, all one stat or something like that, and then it works out better. That's what I was trying to say with the cultivated bees. You darn bees and having different things to work through. Of course, it might not have. It might even just have absolutely nothing that needs to work through because I've noticed that sometimes in forestry, things are that are all the exact same stats won't stack. There's absolutely nothing different about them. They just refuse to be stacked together. I wonder how my villagers are doing. Ooh, you're a different one. You have a very green shirt. You sell... You sell trees. You're a forestry villager. Nice to meet you. And the little guys have all grown up. Uh, sell safari nets. I actually checked on them before. They all sell safari nets. Guys. Guys, just, just take turns. Okay. Wow, why are they all congregating right here? This is so weird. Okay, you guys do know that, like, zombies are on the other side of this wall. <laughs> I like how they all stopped and stared at me for a moment. That was awesome. <clears throat> oh, more breeding happening. Okay, what kind of villager are you guys going to produce? Oh, it's a little one of those guys. Do they have the weird mustache? They have the weird mustache. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Okay. <clears throat> so let's see, what have I done on this list so far? Well, I am working towards modifying bees. I guess that counts, perhaps? Does it count, guys? I'm, I'm breeding bees. I think I'm going to take modifying or finishing the power lab off the list because I don't even know if I'm going to be able to keep all this stuff that is being used for it. I might very well not be, which will suck. Plus, I think that... I think thermal expansion is going to have its own energy source now, so I don't know if it's going to work with the build craft energy. I haven't actually checked yet. <clears throat> ha, I knew I had more quarried blocks somewhere. There we go. Let's go and fix that little gap in the back. There we go. Alright, so I'm going to call this an episode because I don't have anything else planned, and the little I did had had planned was kind of, you know, kind of small compared to normal episodes. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and fave, and I will see you next time. Take care, and goodbye.
had acquired.